In the last video, we unboxed the NVIDIA Android TV slash game console. Now it's time to set it up. Welcome to the channel. This is Technoscope. Welcome back, Scopers. This is the actual boot process of the NVIDIA Shield Android TV. I've decided not to change the time or speed it up or skip anything so that you get an idea of how long it takes for the device to actually boot. Keep in mind that unlike some other devices, Android TV devices rarely are restarted or rarely boot. They usually just go into a sleep mode. If you've dreaded Entering all your login info onto a device using a remote control that only has directional buttons. I feel your pain. That's why Google has given you this option to use a PIN number and you go to this website on your phone or tablet. And if you're already logged in, all you have to do is enter the PIN number and Google sends the login information to the Android TV device. At least that's what's supposed to happen. When I entered my PIN number, I got this screen, but my phone was saying something completely different. I tried about five times, but I couldn't complete the process. So I decided to do it the dreaded other way. Next up are all the license and usage agreements. At first, this looks nearly identical to the Nexus Player home screen with the exception of the two boxes that says stream games and download games and the wallpaper. If you have come accustomed to the home screen of the Nexus player as I have, immediately you will notice there is a lack of Netflix and Hulu Plus in this app lineup. Those two apps have been replaced by something called Photos and Videos and Plex. When I noticed that Netflix was missing from this lineup, I almost immediately went looking for it. Now I've heard on the internet that some people have said the Nvidia Android TV device was missing the Netflix app. And while looking through the Play Store, I did not see it. It could be a minor inconvenience, but if all else fails, I could always go to my Nexus player, grab the APK from it, and then transfer it to the NVIDIA Shield. I decided to run a quick search for it. For some reason on the Nexus player, most people have failed to notice that the Play Store actually has a search function. This must be something about the way that it's, that it's laid out but people completely skip over the fact that on Android phones and tablets, you normally have to search for the apps you want. Now, I know there's no way they released this device without Netflix capabilities. So my last option is to run the Shield OTA over the air update. It must do something, ah, there it is. Installs Netflix. And look at that. Unlike the Nexus player, it has 4K Ultra HD resolution. So while it's running the update, let's look through what the update actually includes. Upgrades YouTube to 4K capability. The update includes the ability to do Google Voice search by touching the shield button on the controller after doing an update to the controller itself. It also enables the ability to have surround sound and high resolution audio 7.1 and 5.1 over USB and HDMI. Remember that it does not have optical audio output. And because this is by far the most portable game system on the market right now, you can actually use it to log into hotel Wi-Fi. If you don't know what HDMI CEC is, I suggest you find out. It is definitely, definitely a convenience to have. 
If you remember from my unboxing of the Nvidia Shield Android TV, it has a micro SD card slot. This update gives you the option to automatically install apps to it now. And there it is, the Netflix app complete with 4K functionality. The rest of this video is just bonus content. If you decide to leave, don't forget to subscribe below, hit that thumbs up, and I hope to see you next time. Remember what I said about apps being available if you only search for them? Well, I have an HD Home Run Prime and I need the app for it to watch TV. Now this live channels app has been demonstrated at Google I.O. 15. It's on both of my Nexus players and this device as well, but on all three of them, it fails to work with my network tuner. I'm not sure why, but I've never been able to get this app to work. And as you just saw on the HD Home Run Prime app, my tuner is definitely working and it can definitely be watched on these devices. You don't want to miss my next video where I will be demoing NVIDIA's Grid video game streaming service. That's right, a service where you don't have to install the games they stream to your device. Next time on Technoscope. Technoscope is a twisted curve production.